Something that's been important to me whilst learning Spanish has been immersion. And I think that alongside memorization and rule learning, immersion is one of the key ways to understand not only a language, but the culture surrounding it, which often then further benefited my learning retrospectively. As I became more comfortable hearing the various sounds of words and accents, I found myself imitating the sounds until I began to comprehend how the words were being formed in the mouth. Once I added the basic study of the language, that's the memorization and the rule learning aspect, that gave me the foundation of structure. This included things like sentence structure and grammar, which really showed me an appreciation of how the language works on a more theoretical level. Now, having someone to engage with as well in your desired language on a regular basis can also help your learning through repetition. Starting off with small talk, I began to learn new topics and I found myself conversing more and more. Another thing that I think that I found has been beneficial is to restudy past things I've learnt when I just simply can't remember them. And it does happen a lot, so keeping a notebook is really useful in this regard. Recently, I've been restudying conjugations of verbs in Spanish. When studying, to, when studying to another language, one tip that I think would be really great to incorporate into any study session is to listen to the language that you're learning, for example, online, an interview, and begin to write down what's being said in that language and try to write it in the same language because, um, and it doesn't have to be a paragraph, just a sentence, but try to write it in the same language. And once you've written it, if it's a coherent sentence and it makes sense, you know that you've likely understood it. If one or two words don't make sense or simply don't exist, then you would re-listen to what's being said and just try to rewrite it again. This time use your information, use the information and the context that you do know to fill in the gaps. And then if you wanted to push this further, you could translate it to a language that you do know and then continue the exercise. It can be really time consuming, but I think it would also be really useful in helping to translate another language in a way that's not only thoughtful, but actually allows you to understand how the language works. And the more you do this exercise, I think the quicker you might find yourself being able to do it. And eventually, with the help of repetition, you might begin to understand odd words and phrases automatically and might not need to write these down. I think it takes a long time to feel comfortable with another language. And as you build your knowledge and you keep learning, I think you really do hit these milestones and key points where you feel confident enough to use the knowledge you've learned. I think that's where a lot of people struggle and it's certainly where I struggled. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to support me and keep on learning.